know it's been a few days since I've uploaded, but I had a fairly busy week last week. Got back, worked a bit, and now it's free time. Uh, I was trying to work out what to do. And then, just the other night, my dad and brother found boxes of these. So we have a few records here. I reckon there's got to be nearly a hundred of them. But we don't have a turntable here. We've got one like in another place, but I would be able to get that. Then I remembered something I saw on YouTube where you can actually use the new Australian $5 notes to play a record. So I thought we'd try this first. I didn't realize though, while I was filming it, I didn't really talk through what I was doing. So, here's a recap. Uh, started yesterday with a $5 note and my brother turned it on the skateboard wheel, which turned out right. We could tell there was sound coming out of it, but we couldn't really hear anything. He couldn't keep it the right sort of pace. So, I uh, made myself a mount for the motor. Uh, pretty much made a turntable, which turned all right. Um, took a bit of trial and error to get that working. The bearings didn't really ride properly, so there was just dragging the whole time. Um, and then powered that with the 12 volt motor, but the, I think the motor was about 120 revolutions per minute and I need to get to about I think 33 and a third for these records. So the motor was spinning too fast. So that's why I switched to this desktop power supply and I was able to drop the voltage from 12 volts down to about two and a half which I think got the speed roughly right. Still not entirely sure, because I didn't actually have any way of measuring it, but it looked more like how a record should work, I think. Yeah, so I stuck the record on the turntable and tried it with a $5 note. So a nice crispy $5 note. Ran it a few times, I could hear it occasionally. I think what happened was when the note was like straight up and down, it wasn't really getting anything. Whereas when the bottom corner was curved like that, that's when it sits against one side of the ridge properly and that got better audio. So that gave me, you know, I think that's how, well I know that when you use a record, the way it works is each side of the ridge is a different channel. With this, um, using a $5 note, I could really only get one channel at a time. So when it was on an angle, it would read one channel properly instead of mixing the two. So I think that's why you got better sound like that. Also, the fact that it was curved gives it a better directioning for the uh, when, as it vibrates to create a sound wave. Yeah, then I decided I want to try and make it digital somehow rather than just, you know, an analog thing playing the sound. So I grabbed some headphones and spent ages pulling them apart. Uh, the problem with the headphones is that, as you can see, there's lots and lots of different coils inside them, I think. I'm not entirely sure how these headphones are made up. I really would have been better off buying some like cheap headphones from like the $2 shop or something like that. And, you know, pull those ones apart because it'd be a simple coil and a magnet and all this complicated stuff to get all the different, you know, high, medium, low ranges. But pulled them apart, couldn't get it to work like that. Um, so I decided to try and get the microphone out of this pair of headphones, which, I don't know, I just ended up pretty much using the microphone as a microphone, which was the easiest way. So what I did is I pulled the microphone out of um, the headphones and they were pretty, like, it was pretty much the tiniest microphone I've ever seen. I found the easiest thing to do was just stick that on the back of the needle. So the vibrations just go straight into the microphone and that's when you get this sound here. So yeah, I think that turned out alright, it was a proof of concept, it was kind of fun to do. Um, I don't think I'm going to go to any effort to make it any more complicated. I'll probably just, you know, pick up our turntable from down at the beach next time I'm there. And then I'll go through some of these records. There's some pretty good ones in here, like, we have some Men at Work, some Golden Hits, some Beethoven, 
All right, I thought I had more in this box, but there's a whole bunch more records out there, so maybe eventually I'll digitize them and listen to them. In the meantime, they're all just going to remain bits of vinyl that I can't do anything with. So, that's it for this episode of 29. See you guys later.